So you just purchased a copy of Microsoft 365 or you want to purchase one and you're wondering where to start. On uh, today's video, I wanna give you a guide on how to purchase, how to install the applications included with your subscription and how to take advantage of all the cloud features. On uh, today's example, I'll use a personal family subscription but the same method for accessing the software can be used for a personal single license, a business, enterprise, and even for school licenses. The features and apps I will mention today are unlocked after you purchase the Microsoft 365 Personal or Microsoft 365 Family Subscription. The difference between personal and family is that you can use it for up to six people with the family plan and the apps and features are all the same. Open your favorite web browser and head over to Microsoft.com. Because I'm doing a trial and it's only available on the family plan, I will purchase that as an example but you can feel free to pick the option for the one person if that's what you require. Click on create an account or sign in with your Microsoft personal account if you already have one. After you sign in, add your payment method, choose your subscription for either monthly or yearly. If you choose the yearly, you'll get a slight discount. Now you will have unlocked access to setup.office.com to install the desktop applications or to share your subscription with other family members. If you ever need to go back to this section, I recommend you simply navigate to office.com and you log in with the same credentials. Now let's navigate to office.com and here we can use this portal as a hub to access our setup files to install applications on our computer or to access all our cloud services. If you're ever lost and confused on where to access anything with your subscription, this is the portal you wanna have. On today's example, I'm using a Windows 11 machine, but you can also download the files in this portal for other supported operating system. Now on the top right, let's click on install apps. Log in again if you're prompted. I'm going to choose English as my language and I'll choose Office 64-bit as it's the most compatible version to install. I've seen errors when you go for the 32-bit version, so I'd rather do the 64-bit now. This will download the office setup.exe file, so let's click on this and click on Yes to install. You will notice the wait while Office downloads for a few minutes. Once that's done, you're all set and you have now installed Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, Outlook, and OneNote locally on your computer. When you open one of these apps for the first time, you'll have to log in one more time to activate the software. Also remember each license you get for each family member, they can each install their applications in up to five different devices, including PCs, Macs, tablets, and phones. Now, what's nice about the subscription model is that you also get access to cloud features. If you get a personal license for one, this includes one terabyte or 1000 gigs of storage. And if you get the family plan, each family member gets also one terabyte with a potential of six terabytes of storage, which is a pretty nice deal. So again, let's head to office.com again to access all of our cloud features. If we see the left side of our screen, we can see that there's links to Word, Excel, etc. 
These are the web versions of the same applications which can be accessed directly on your web browser. When you work on files through the web version, they also store the data directly on the cloud. I will create this Microsoft Word document and I'll save it to our online storage. Now you may be asking, where do I access this data from? If we go back to office.com, let's now click on OneDrive and this takes us to the portal where all our cloud storage is saved. Here we can see where our previous document is saved. We can even share this document with other people. And once the other person opens it, you can both work on the same document at the same time. Other features here are accessing recent files you have worked on, photos shared where you can see files shared with you or files that you have shared with others. You also get a recycle bin where it'll store deleted items for 30 days so you can go back and restore data if you ever need to. You can also access OneDrive locally, which lets you open those same cloud files through Windows File Explorer, like any other regular file. If we go to our Windows Start menu, let's search for OneDrive and open it. Now let's navigate to the bottom right of the taskbar and we're gonna see the icon for OneDrive where we can change our settings and if we click on open folder, it opens our cloud files with File Explorer. This is nice since you can work on cloud files locally, but when you save them, they get saved to the cloud. If I open the documents folder here, I see the test one, two, three Word document. I open it locally and when I click save, it has saved to the cloud. If we now go and check the cloud version of Word, we see it picked up the changes that we did locally on the computer. As you can see, OneDrive is powerful since it lets you work locally on the cloud and the ability to access your data from any device. If we go back to office.com, if we click the first icon on the top left, we can see all our cloud applications available to us. Here we can access Outlook with our personal accounts, Microsoft Teams to do video conference meetings, and a few others that you should also check out. I hope you have enjoyed this video and found value in understanding the basics of a Microsoft 365 personal license and that you're able to take advantage of all of its features. If you want to know more about the standalone versions or Microsoft 365 business with a custom email domain, check out those guides on our channel. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more tech content. Until next time, Ultratech out.